Hey guys, this is Rhett, also known as Barely Lethal, and for some of you, this is the first time that you're hearing my voice, or maybe even seeing my face, depending on which of the two videos that I have on this channel, but uh, today I want to talk about uh, one of the reasons why you're able to hear my voice anyway, and uh, it's my voice meter setup that I use both for recording and for streaming uh, over on Twitch, and uh I do a couple of different things and weird things that uh, some people don't do, and I don't always use everything that Voice Meter has to offer, but I'm going to talk about that uh, right now, so stay tuned. All right, so let's talk about Voice Meter uh, and what it is, what it isn't, and uh, and we can get started into that on that on that path and. Uh, we can discuss that a little bit. So voice meter is basically a virtual mixer and it gets rid of the need for a hardware mixer on your desk. Uh, it takes virtual and hardware inputs via USB or their virtual cables and you can route things such as like Spotify or other programs, uh, your chat bot uh, or anything like that through different channels to be able to, um, to be able to have those things on a separate channel which is the way that I use them uh, and have individual control of everything so um, let's start with the steps that you're gonna go through uh, first of all you're going to go to uh, v vb hyphen audio.com which is the voice meter website or you can google search voice meter and you'll see this page that comes up right here uh, you're going to uh, go into uh, voice meter banana which is the one that I use you're going to download uh, if it's for uh, Windows or for Mac, you're going to download either the exe file, the executable file, or the zip package. I recommend doing the zip package and you can kind of control it from there. Uh, it is donationware. You have to donate to be able to do that. And uh, I'm not going to go through that whole process. There's plenty of other videos on, uh, on YouTube to explain how that works. So I'm not going to go through that process. But the other thing uh, that I would recommend uh, you do to make this work the way that I do it is to click over on this virtual audio cable. And you scroll down to this uh, additional audio cables and grab the A and the B. And you can also grab just the VB cable as well, uh, reg the regular VB cable. Uh, these are donation where the A, B, C, and D are all donation wear. Um, <clears throat> and you can pick those up, I think, for like $5 donation, which isn't a big deal. But I recommend it uh, for what I'm doing. Uh, I do think that it works really well. And um, it's going to make it easier on you to set it up the way that I set it up. So... Now, I, uh, I also stream and uh, record in OBS, so I'm going to show you my settings inside OBS once we get there um, and how I do the audio and everything, but now that we've got voice meter downloaded, let's open it up. And uh, you're, we're going to look around the interface here, and I'm going to explain this a little bit. So, uh, the way this works is you have a number of, of inputs right here which would be just like if you had a mixer you would have your microphone inputs uh, or you could you know hook up like a, a uh, any kind of thing that you want to plug into a mixer that you need to uh, get sound from you also have your uh, you have these are what are called hardware inputs these are called virtual inputs which is your VAIO or your aux uh, inputs so you get two of those you get three of these on banana if you if you go with voice meter potato you can get more and there's more functionality but I just don't use all that stuff so I just keep it simple with uh, with voice meter banana and it works really well it works well for what I need it to do um, I also uh, use a Behringer interface which is a UMC 202 HD which is just like a 50 or $60 dollar uh, XLR interface uh, and I use a fairly inexpensive microphone as well um, <clears throat> and so I set uh, I'll show I'll show you kind of how I do this but um, these are your hardware outs. This is going to be the way where you send the audio to, um, and you get three of those with uh, voice meter banana. You also have uh, your virtual outs, which are your uh, like your master feeds that go out to wherever you're recording from or recording into, mind you. Um, <clears throat> and so the way this uh, this is set up, the way I have it set up, and I'm just going to walk you through this, uh, the steps is um, I have my microphone set to the first input, the first hardware input. So if you click over here, you can see that it, it brings up a list of your uh, the inputs or the, the programs or the, the channels that you can use, the, the cables or whatever. Um, I have mine set to, 
uh, the Behringer UMC202 WDM microphone. You can see that it is jumping up and down as I talk. Uh, I'm also going to raise this up just a little bit. There we go. Um, this here, uh, it, you can see I have them labeled uh, as my microphone. So I also use Spotify uh, with my stream because I have um, I have a collaborative playlist that my community uh, community can go and add music uh, to as they see fit, and uh, it just plays straight through while I'm streaming <clears throat> and uh, while I'm working and stuff like that. So I also use Spotify, and I also have my Streamlabs chatbot that I use for audio alerts. Um, stream currency games uh, all that kind of stuff and moderation and everything too so um, I have that set to for the audio alerts to come through directly through there so if you're looking at this it, it can seem kind of confusing but I'm gonna walk you through my steps so if you're if you have an interface or you have a a USB microphone or an XLR microphone what you want to do is you want to go to a1 right here at the top we're going to set that to whatever your interface or wherever you want your headphones to be listening to uh, what's going on inside uh, a voice meter to the Behringer. You also have two other options, and I set mine to my uh, computer speakers, uh, the monitor speakers that are built in. You can listen when I'm working. If I don't want to wear headphones, I can just switch it over to A2 on my on my music channel or whatever I'm listening to. If I'm listening to the just like a Twitch stream or whatever. Um, and it will play through my speakers. So that's a, a cool thing to have. You can also do the same thing with uh, A3 if you have another audio source, like a, a set of uh, monitor speakers that aren't coming through your interface or something along those lines. <clears throat> so that's how we're going to set that up. Obviously, we're going to set the microphone to channel one. We're going to set Spotify. Change the name. If you right click here, you can change that to Spotify and hit enter. Uh, same thing with chatbot or whatever you're going to be using. If it's uh, alerts or um, whatever it happens to be, you can set that here as well. So then this is going to be our cable A that we downloaded before. This is going to be our cable B. that. Now, uh, desktop audio by default, if you set it to, uh, if you want it to be coming through voice meter, is going to be set to... Uh, input uh, the voice meter VAIO, which is just the regular audio voice meter. Uh, you're going to set that as your desktop audio. And I use the auxiliary as a uh, as voice chat. Oh. I use auxiliary as voice chat. Um, and I'll sh I'll explain that uh, I'll explain that once I get a uh, Discord open and everything. I'll show you the settings inside that as well. So. What we want to do is, I want you to understand, there's tons of videos on, on YouTube talking about this, but I want you to understand how these outputs and everything work. So, we're going to we're gonna look at the Spotify channel. There's another piece of software that you're going to need to download to make this work, um, and it's a free software. If you go to uh, the GitHub, all the links will be down in the description, of course. Go to GitHub, and uh, the download you will download this. Uh, you want to do the 64-bit if you have 64-bit, 32-bit if you have 32-bit, of course. And we're going to download this. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to take individual um, individual programs and route them wherever you want to. So I only use this for Spotify right now. You could do it for just about anything else, but I only use it for Spotify. So what you want to do is you want to open up your Spotify. We're going to play some music here. And... You want to let this play. We're going to turn this down just a bit. You want to see that Spotify has popped up here as well, right? You're going to go to Route. You're going to choose uh, Cable A here. VB Audio Cable A. Soft Routing. And hit OK. Now, if you look, Spotify is playing through uh, the, cha the second channel. So now I have that on its own channel inside voice meter that I can control the audio, the music and everything as it goes, right? And then the same thing is going to happen with your chatbot. I'm not going to show you how to do that, but if you go into the settings of your chatbot, you can choose cable B as the output and that'll automatically uh, do that right there. You don't have to use voice uh, the vo uh, audio router for that, sorry. Now, desktop audio I have coming through the VAIO. So if I start a uh, some sort of video or uh, music or something that's actually on the desktop it's going to play through this channel and then I have my voice chat going through I'll uh, open up discord and show you we'll go to our settings 
voice and video. And what we want to have happen here is we want our input device to be the uh, voice meter output here, which is uh, is going to be, uh, I'll explain this in a minute. And then for, you want the aux input to be your output device. Okay, so that means that this is coming through the main out and this is going to go through the aux input back into the mixer. I'll show you what that means. So when the voice chat happens, it's going to actually come through this channel. This is the auxiliary input channel and whatever it play in and whatever they're receiving from you is going to be on B1. So it's going to be whatever audio comes through this channel. Okay. And the way that you set that up is say you want um, a separate channel to be uh, in your OBS and I'll show you the settings here in my OBS as well. The way that I have this set up is uh, for my main microphone, I have it set to B1, as you can see here. It's going to be going through just the regular output, which is VAIO, which is the same as B1. And you can see it's coming through this channel. There's nothing else playing, and it's coming through that, right? Same for uh, mic and auxiliary 2. I'm going to have that set to the auxiliary, which is B2 over here, right? And it's going to be... Uh, you're going to set B2 to everything that you want to come through that channel. So everything other than my microphone, I currently have going through B2. And that comes into my mic auxiliary audio too, if that makes sense. You can do the same thing with with uh, with 3 if you have the other cables. You can do the same thing uh, with, with uh, voice meter potato if you decide to go with that program as well. So that's going to be the setup with that, with... Uh, with um, in inside OBS, that's going to be your setup. Now, the other thing uh, that I will say about OBS that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the settings. You're going to go to it uh, to audio, and you're going to want your monitoring device to be set to uh, whichever channel, um, whichever either the regular VIO or the AUX. You want that set to whatever channel it's going to be coming out of and you want monitoring. So right now, because I don't have anything else other than just desktop audio coming through, I want that to be set to VAIO so that anything that happens on my desktop, which would include your alert box for Streamlabs or Stream Elements, anything that I have coming through that channel is going to play directly through and I'm still going to be able to monitor it directly through this. So it's going to play through and I'll be able to hear it as well. <coughs> Excuse me. But if you don't have that set to monitoring, then you won't be able to hear it. Um, and you have to go into your settings as well on your individual channels in the audio mixer of OBS, which if you don't have if you don't know how to do that, there's plenty of other videos that explain the audio mixer in OBS. I'm not gonna go into that, but um, you just want to set it to monitor and output for whatever your alert box is in OBS. So that's my, my basic setup. Um, if you have any questions, please, this is just going to be a quick video. I, I didn't want to spend too much time on it. Um, the setup is actually really, really simple. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me on Twitter. Um, or if you find me on any of the other social media, uh, feel free to DM me and I can walk you through it. It, it actually helps to just have some walk, someone walk you directly through it anyway. So if I can help you with it in any way, please let me know. This is just a quick video for the people who have asked me how I have mine set up. And hopefully it helps you as well. And uh, if you like the video, please uh, like the, like the, uh, give me a like if you like it. That makes sense, right? And uh, hit the subscribe button if you uh, want more content like this. I have some new things coming. Some really cool stuff that's going to be coming up very soon. So um, stay tuned. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you and uh, have a great one. See ya.